go, welcome back to Whispering Willows. Let's see where we left off, shall we? I am baffled by this, Elena. I was sure my body would be found here. It's Eleanor, isn't it, Eleanor? I remember falling, falling down to darkness, a bit of despair. Please, Eleanor, let us continue to search. Okay, I reckon we need the well, but I... Yeah, because if it's a pit of despair, then surely... He said he fell into a pit of despair, so I'm thinking the well is our best bet. Okay, so he said he was feeling himself going to a pit of despair in the darkness of bloody bloody bar. That's a well, right? Let's find his body down here. Oh yes, I feel getting closer. I feel my body presence nearby. Good. What a deep well this is. This is far enough. My body lies in the dirt just beyond the walls of this well. Thank you for your help, Eleanor. I would have wandered endlessly throughout this world without you. I can now finish my journey to the afterlife, but I wish you luck in finding your father. Goodbye, Eleanor. You can now finally rest in peace. Because of you, I know my dad's in the mansion somewhere. Thank you for everything. Okay. I'm a free bird. Go, banana. Moving on up, moving on up, nothing can stop me. New diary entry. Flying Hulk's gone now, he's resting in peace somewhere. I'm happy for him, I really am. He'd wandered this world for far too long. I just wish he hadn't left me alone. I feel a little bit lost without him, but he didn't leave me with nothing after all. I don't think I'd have gotten this far without his help, and thanks to him, I know what I have to do now. I've got to find my way into the mansion. That's uh, so big and scary looking from the outside, it's really don't want to do it. If it means finding my dad, I'll do anything I have to. Okay, let's go find her dad. So let's go into the mansion. That's the back of the mansion. Just those pair again. Let's let this pair again. I ain't talking to them again. Ooh, chapter two, Wortham's Warrior. Okay, let's have a look around here. There's a note. I met with a Quantanko sh shaman this morning, a man named Flying Hawk. We met to discuss the bartering of this land, but a conversation took a turn. He told me that this area was rife with spiritual power, and the veil between this life and the next was thinner th here than anywhere else. He spoke of Martha, Martha, that he could help me s to see her again. I believed him, and he offered me his peace pipe. I wasn't sure, but the man told me it would help me to free myself. I partook a strange smoke he gave me, and the man told me I must let go of her if I wished to see her again, and my spirit must be pure. We sat in meditation for some time. My mind raced all the time. About a paranoia seized me. I realised that this medicine man was trying to do. He would have me abandon my hopes for the future. He'd have me live a life of savagery. I knew he was trying to poison my mind, and I would have wagered that the smoke was a nefarious intent as well. I refused to abide such insolence. I stood from my seat and challenged this necromancer to fight me, but he did not stir. I wrapped my hands around his throat and still did not move. I squeezed until I felt life leave from his body and he slumped down. I released my grip and my fingers peeled from his skin as, I f as he fell back on me. I extended the teepee and gave my men the order to purge these vile savages from the earth. As God would command me to. Darby even made his first kill. I'd be proud of him, but he trembled by his little horse rest in the battle. It was just a little girl, the savages after all. What? Let's just have a look down here. There's lots of statues and stuff. Oh, it's getting dark now. Okay. Uh, my spirit can go up there, but I'm going for this one first. Okay, no, I'm not. I'm going to use my spirit then. Go, spirit, go! Darby, his murderer was never found despite my efforts. Mr. 
talking to his death, but something stopped me to this day. I don't know what it was. Please help me, Eleanor. I can't rest until the murder is found. Okay, I really want to run, but I can't run because I'll just go. Mm -mm. Who's that Andrew in this mansion? You're best be speaking with me first. Well, that's the mansion all I like. You can't stop me. Oh, it's just a wee lass. Well done, me best mate. She won't be getting past me. He don't want to see the likes of you. Me wife more inclined to wish in time with little girls. Okay, okay, I get it. You don't want to talk to me. Ah. Oh, hello. I met a huge man inside the mansion named Darby. He has a strange accent that sounds Irish. Sounds Irish. That's what's going for sounds. But I'm not quite sure. He didn't want to talk to me much, but he did mention someone named Wortham. I think Wortham was the man who owned this mansion. We learned about him in school. He helped create our town. I don't know why that Derby guy mentioned him, but he didn't want to tell me much. He even yelled at me, so I left him alone. I don't know why he'd be so mean to a little girl. Why would he? Let's go up here then. Oh, uh, right, okay. Right, I'm perfect. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with my spirit, to be honest. But, uh, I have to go all the way round and open the other side. Is that kind of what it is? It's basically company. Okay, it's a note. I am among the few remaining of my bloodline, descending from a line of powerful shaman. I may not have the powers they once did, but my attunement with nature remains the same. It's taken me some time to recognise it, but there's a subtle energy at play here that permeates the very air I breathe. The veil between the planes of life and death in this place is thin. Spirits seem to pass between the planes and, and though through osmosis. It's almost indescribable the way I can feel their presence here. I want to know what it all means. Okay. Is that just out the hole in the floorboard? Okay, fair enough. How strange. I feel like I have to walk to each side to actually get, make sure she goes up. This place isn't very safe. It's that first door I came to that I couldn't get in. Oh god, no, no, no. Those noises! That 
let's go up here then. There we go. I'll have that note. Today is a day of excitement to be sure. I am travelling off with my best mate Wortham Willows to a great unsettled west. We seek our fortunes there, as I dare say we will face many a danger. I have heard tales of beasts and savages that await us. Wortham is but a gentleman and lacks my side, so I feel it my duty to protect him along our journey. While to him and his, I do not know what would have become of my family. The Willows gave us work when none of no one other would when no one other would. I feel it is my duty to keep him safe. No matter what happens, I will shoulder his burdens as best I can. Thank you, Darby. Horror, horror, horror. Okay, let's head up those stairs then. This is a creepy room. I just leave her. Oh my. Uh, she coughed it. No, 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 no. Don't. Actually, I would like that first. I've enjoyed delving into the mysteries of this place. There's so much to learn, and I'm not referring to all the books and pieces of history that just collect dust. No, I speak of something else entirely. When I was a boy, my grandfather taught me to commune with nature, and it was the most spiritual endeavour I could hope to perform. At the time, I didn't understand what he meant, but spending time here has opened my eyes to the truth of the old man's sage's words. I can admit in these pages I have seen things that no other living man has seen. I have ventured among the, beyond the model coil and have found other side. I have come back not wholly unscathed. I feel marks upon the fabric of my soul, but what that means I do not yet know. I said I want to take it home with me. All the men, worth them included, look at me differently now. I see the disdain for me plain on their faces. I know they whisper about me behind my back, calling me a coward and worse things I will not repeat here. Worth must give me a job as a supervisor of the mines. That is, I know she's not a bitch, we do an accent, but uh, the mines. So good as a job we could hope for. No, it's not going to happen. It would have seen as though they simply want to lump all the immigrants together. I still see the little girl in my dreams and the look on her face as she realised what I was doing. I see her when I walk into the town, but it's never her. My mind has played tricks on me, and I do not know how long I can stand it. Seeing her troubles me no end, and I've waked in all the wee hours in the morning, drenched in sweat, my heart racing. I still have my shirt from the day I wear it under my clothes all the time for my of evil. Oh, me hearties. Whoa, lots of them more than. Jeremiah, I've sent this letter in secret. I need your help as well as your silence. Darby O'Halloran. Darby O'Halloran has died by my hand. His madness has overtaken his mind. Though he was my best and longest friend, I could not bring himself to handle his corpse, and I have a room at the casket in the catacombs that I want you to place his body in. I shall visit later. I also ask that you keep the grave unmarked. You are the only one I could trust with this house, Jeremiah. I once again request your silence on this matter. How nice. Hmm. They're about things. True story. True story. Okay, 
let's go upstairs again. Itsy bitsy, that's not an itsy bitsy spider mate, not an itsy bitsy. Oh no actually, go back through the door I came from. I didn't go that side did I? Can I go that side? Oh it's locked, never mind. I tell you, what if I wouldn't have done this? Do I have a gun to a die? Just, why can't I do it the first time and now I can't? I'm having scotch last, I remember, but it doesn't matter. Why don't you just leave me alone? We're off a little bit. I can't find it there. How rude, you told me to bugger off. to book her off. Claire. I was the one lover that knew of Wurden Steve before I met my end. I was eating the tool shed four o'clock in the morning. He was going to tell me everything. Okay, well that was Whispering Willows part three. I hope you enjoyed this video. The story's really starting to unfold. Murder! <laughs> Thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more weird and wonderful content. Till next time, see your beautiful face in another video. Goodbye.